name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry for me. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. That I am. You know how to use one? Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My father was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Try and hit the middle target. Here you go. Shoot them. Middle. Nice shot, right on target. Now hit the target to the left. the target to the right. Nice shot, right on target. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Yes? Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, Try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Be careful. Time to 
Time's up. Better luck next time. Yeah? Sure. All right, then. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! Time's up. Better luck next time. What do you want, Imperial? Sure. Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! Time's up. Better luck next time. Huh? Sure. Until next time. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Careful. Time's up. Better luck next time. Uh, sure. Here, take these. Looks like you're running low. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! Time's up. Better luck next time. What do you want? Sure. Until next time. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! Time's up. Better luck next time.
Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Do what he's been summoned by the grave. Try not to judge Valkyrie too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard. Did you see a dog out there? Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes. The silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Again, again, do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait, here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh, yeah, 
very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth, no! <laughs> no bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. What of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead. And I have a new loincloth. <laughs> so you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? When that I may work for your targets, the wolf, but you'll find I'm not so easily advice. impressed. Arbjorn, he said, never lose, and I never Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate. A fighter. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Go on now. I heard about what happened. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our Me, 
I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Stay safe. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I love that one. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're 10 will do that to a girl. Some I call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Right then. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's new brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You go your way, I'll go mine. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Right then. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband? She has a tendency to do that doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Kill well, and often.
I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. 